Welcome from the Stop TB Partnership. I realize this is the last day of the HIV conference and it is the last uh, press event here. So thanks for everybody who have made it possible to come here. The topic today is uh, universal health coverage and how TB and HIV diseases can end uh, with the efforts that are being made for UHC. Let me speak on the, with the perspective of uh, TB. This year in September, uh, the world uh, will discuss uh, in the UN General Assembly universal health coverage. We are looking forward to it. We are also discussing with partners like UHC 2030 about what should be the content, uh, what should be the targets, commitments, and sharing our experience of last year on TB. We believe that universal health coverage is needed to end the TB epidemic. This is the way where currently the missing people from TB care, which are 4 million per year of people who have TB, uh, who are missing from care, these can be diagnosed, put on treatment. We also believe that uh, this is, uh, UHC is a mechanism to find uh, everybody who needs care uh, in, in a timely manner and uh, getting all the resources uh, to do it in, in a way that it will not lead to uh, catastrophic out-of-pocket expenses. Unfortunately, today a lot of people with TB are left behind and a lot of people with TB who are not left behind but treated ultimately do that with a lot of out-of-pocket expenses. We uh, were uh, very pleased to have uh, Japan as a co-facilitator last year for the TB UNHLM. Japan has made a strong case for universal health coverage. And in Japan, you can see how TB and universal health coverage was linked together. When Japan brought down the rates of TB, it was very much due to a concept of universal health coverage. And uh, we must see how TB is seen also as a pathfinder for UHC in many other countries. So uh, I think UHC is uh, very important for TB as well as the HIV uh, responses. I leave the HIV part for colleagues to cover. Thank you.